In this Tech Cave tutorial, we will install Intune Company Portal on an Android device. This is my Samsung Galaxy S21. Your device may look different, but the process is the same. First, you want to find the Play Store. Mine is on the desktop, as we can see right here. If you can't find yours on the desktop, swipe up to go to the App Drawer. In the App Drawer, you will see the Play Store. Go ahead and click it. In the search, you're going to type in Intune Company Portal. It may come up automatically, like mine did. Click it, and then install. Go ahead and open, and sign in. We are going to sign in using our username, which is going to be your full last name and the first letter of your first name. For me, it's Robert Schaefer, so I will type in Schaefer R. If you were Andrew Johnson, you would type in Johnson A. And then you will type in at courts.state.mn.us. I'll demonstrate that now. There we go. Yours should look the same. Hit next. Type in your password. This is the password that you use to log into your computer every day. Your work computer. Hit sign in. Perfect. Now we need to set up access. So we'll hit begin. And right here, it tells us what our company cannot see, which is all of our personal information, what we do on our phone. What they can see is the boring stuff like the model, the serial number, the operating system. So none of the things that you do personally on your phone will be seen by the company. Hit continue. Go ahead and agree. And this will create your work profile. This will take a minute or so to set up. Now that that's set up, hit continue, and it's going to register the device with Intune. And this again will take a minute or so. We'll hit done. This is explaining that there are two different app drawers. There's a personal app drawer, and now there is a work app drawer, and I'll show you that later. Um, you will see that there is a briefcase. It's not a lock, it's a briefcase next to your work apps that signifies that they are for work. And there is also a work play store where we will put other applications that you may need access to. Right here you can see that my device has been enrolled and we're going to go back to the home screen and what we're going to do is we're going to swipe up to get to the app drawer. And right here it's explaining that there is the personal app drawer for your personal phone and then there's the work app drawer for all your work applications. You can see that right now they're being installed. The Play Store is installing Outlook and the Edge web browser. There's Outlook. And you can see right there, there's a number two next to the Play Store. That just means it's installing things. So we'll wait for Edge to be installed. And right now, we're only concerned with Outlook, so we're going to set that up. Go ahead and click Outlook and click Add Account. This is wrong. Again, we need to use the username that we log in with. So again, mine will be Schaefer R, last name, full last name, first letter of my first uh, name. So Schaefer R.
and then at courts.state.mn.us, hit continue. And now it's gonna download all of our messages. So these are all my emails that I have. And in the other corner, that is my calendar. I can change the calendar view by type tapping this icon and then selecting month. That's what I prefer. And you can select a date. You can add an appointment if you need to. That's pretty self-explanatory, so we won't go over that. So we'll hit home. And we'll swipe back up. Again, we're in work, so we can switch to personal or work, depending on what you want to do. And uh, we just set up out Outlook. We're not going to do anything else. If you click the company portal, you can uninstall your device. If you were to leave the company, you just remove your device right there. And then you hit OK. And that will remove your phone from enrollment in Intune. So if you found this helpful, please uh, like and share. And if you have any other issues, please uh, submit a ticket.